I uh, was watching the Clive Barker podcast the other day with Ryan and Jose, number 464, if I remember correctly, the one where they had the interview with Stephen Jones. It is such a great interview. It just brought back an old story, uh, something that happened to me, or just a piece of trivia from the early Clyde Barker days that I thought I'd share with everybody. But first of all, let me just remind you, be sure and watch that video, uh, that podcast, because it definitely has a lot of information in it and you'll find it very interesting. Oh, by the way, today is October 5th. It's Clive's birthday. So happiest birthday ever to our uh, uh, best imaginer. Uh, anyway, let me share this uh, little story with you. In the mid nineties, a lot of things were going on in the Barker camp. And uh, that's when uh, the A to Z of horror came out that Stephen Jones had edited for Clive. Um, anyway, during that period, um, those of us that were buying from Bess Cutler and supporting Clive's art, in my, to the best of my understanding, were contacted to buy the pieces that uh, corresponded with our last names from the letters from A to Z of horror. You know, that was when Clive illustrated a letter for uh, each uh, section of the book, which corresponded with the letters of the alphabet. Anyway, I was called by them uh, offering me the B, which was for Bertram, which also stood for beast in the book. And at the time I purchased something else and I just didn't feel like uh, purchasing it. Um, if I remember correctly, and I'm hoping I'm quoting this correctly, uh, the uh, price on those pieces, and they were a little large, they weren't tiny like the book pages, but uh, they were $200 each. And at the time I, I didn't want to do it. So anyway, but the weird thing was I passed up and I don't know who got the B, but uh, later on I had the opportunity to see Clive and take my A to Z of horror. And I told him the story about the B and me passing up on it and uh, asked him if he wouldn't mind reproducing it in my book. So here I thought I'd just share that with you. That's the story of my uh, uh, illustration that I have from Clive in uh, my uh, uh, a to Z of horror.